right, here's a video review for G2 uh, Generation Selects Ramjet. And uh, this will be a quick one since we've done this mold several times at this point. Uh, we're just going to do a quick overview. I love it. I love the colors on it. Um, it's got some of the G2 colors, the detailing, the Ramjet here. It only has, it just has the G1 Decepticon symbol and not the G2 Decepticon symbol, which I thought was a little weird. However, um, there's a lot of, there's a few things, not a lot of things, but there's a few things that just I feel would pop a little better. Uh, the Collectors Club, when they did their G2 Ramjet a while back, had some tampos that replicated some of the, the stickers and decals from the original toy. And I feel like, I certainly hope that Toy Hacks is going to be providing some of those. Because there was like just some red detailings, a little bit, a little bit more detail here on the vents, um, and possibly some stickers to cover this up and put the big G2 logo uh, on the wings. So uh, I'm, I'm fully expecting some stuff from Toy Hacks to, uh, to really give this the oomph that uh, it should have. But it's still a fun deco with the purple and the teal and the black. A very, it's G2 Ramjet, but it, it's very also late G1 Ramjet. A lot of the Decepticons had this teal and black and grayish white and purple color scheme uh, there at the end of the line. But yeah, it's the Seeker Mold, the Conehead Seeker Mold. The ramjet mold with the wings um, and we'll just transform it here not a whole lot to it get that tab back in oh. come on there we go pop that apart open up the feet how you all doing hope everything's going okay Everything's going fine here. It's been a long week, but, uh, you know, sometimes you have long weeks. It's just how it goes. Pop open the thing. Did get Necro Molds. We'll be doing a Let's Play or a P.O. Plays on that soon. Um, I did play the first version of the retail version of the game with the final rules and all that stuff. Final Molds. It's been a lot of fun. Why are you not? Come on. I know you want to open for me. I know you're not. There's no way it's frozen. Come on. This piece should just ro rotate up, and I don't know why they're being such a pain in the butt here. I've got my spudger right here. So uh, let's dig that out. I have my spudger right here. Oh, good. Even my spudger has decided to run away and leave me. And even also the little other, the secondary spudger tool that I also had in here is just also not wanting to just show up for me. So, let's see if we can't find a small little something or another. Where's this tiny little spudger? Where did both my spudgers go? I, I just reorganized this table today. And my spudger does not want to be here. Whatever. So let's see if we can't find that out. This should just rotate right up. So I can expand this up. There's a you can see the hinge right there, and transfer. There we go. See that's supposed to just come right up like that. Um, that's the first time I've ever had that much trouble with that joint. And then you can just fold that down once the arms extended and fold the fist down, and uh, get in there and pop that one open too. That was weird. All right, so and I guess I can't argue the build quality. It doesn't seem like the mold degraded. Uh, too bad because uh, that was that was a pain in the butt. Lift these up, bring the cone, rotate it like that down to the body, and flip that onto the back. There's this purpley cone head. Now we'll put his little arm blasters on. And he's ready for the disco. Now these you can rotate. You can rotate them back. Uh, you can rotate them forward. You can have them at an angle. However you want to deal with the wings. I like to rotate them flat up against the legs. But how you want to do it. Because I also like doing it. Because it reveals these little teal thrusters down here. But um, but yeah. He's cool. He's got all the poseability of the Seeker mold. He's got the ball joint. The dual swivel. Biceps. Hinged elbows. Uh, no waist swivel. But he's got double 
thighs in all the directions, thigh swivel, hinge knee, foot, ankle tilt, all the good stuff. Really cool color scheme. Um, and I'm pretty happy with them. Like, I like them. I, like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing what Toy Hacks can do with them. Maybe give them a couple of those little pops of red across the body. Now, maybe a little bit more shiny, a shiny slightly shinier silver uh, to replicate some of those old decals. But uh, I like Ramjet. I've always liked Ramjet. I like his white and maroon and black version. Uh, the teal and purple is also pretty striking. But yeah, there he is. It's G2 Ramjet from Generation Select. Selects. Sorry, it's like 2 a.m. now. I'm very tired. Um, and I'm starting to stumble words. We're getting new floor in the kitchen uh, in a couple of days. So we've been working to clean out a lot of stuff. Uh, which is hence why I rearranged this table earlier. And why my spudger has decided to run off on me. I don't know. But anyway, there's G2 Ramjet. He's cool. Uh, pick him up. If you want to. I, there's other th I, I wouldn't prioritize him. I don't know that he'd be at the top of your list unless you just really love Ramjet. But uh, all in all... He's another solid figure. If you enjoy the Seeker mold and want some wacky colors, there you go.